In one South Korean prison, the inmates were having a slap battle as a way to pass the time and prove who the strongest prisoner was. One of the prisoners, who was skinnier than the others, volunteered to take part in the competition. Everything went well at first, until that young guy cheated. Because of his cheating, the whole prison became chaotic and messed up. This was Jo hyun -soo, the newly arrived inmate of the prison. He deliberately cheated in order to get the attention of other prisoners. Because of what he did, he became the target of the other prisoners. Luckily, he is someone who is agile and good at fighting, so he can avoid every attack easily and make a counterattack on the person who beat him. However, the fight didn't last long, as they were dismissed by prison guards. Up next, we meet Han Jae-ho, a mafia boss in South Korea who is also serving time in prison. He is impressed and amazed by hyun Su's stunts. Inside the prison, Jae-ho controls the circulation of weed cigarettes, and he has a good relationship with several prison officers who he bribes for the smooth running of his business. Jae-ho has many underlings who are also inside the prison, and many prisoners are afraid of him. While in prison, Jae-ho had many conveniences. Even the kitchen in the prison was where his henchmen produced cigarettes and weed, which were then sold to other prisoners. One day, another mafia boss named Kim sung -hin and some of his minions arrived at the prison as well. As sung -hin entered the prison, Ji-ho's reign in the prison would be replaced by his. When sung -hin and his henchmen arrived, everyone bowed their heads and even made way as a form of respect for him. sung -hin would later control drug trafficking in the prison, and the kitchen that was previously used by Ji-ho's boys, from then on would be used by his boys. Ji-ho planned to negotiate his cigarette and weed business with sung -hin, and in return, he would share 50% of the profit. However, sung -hin turned him down. Following his refusal, Ji-ho then declared war on sung -hin. A short while later, Ji-ho received the news that his men had been brought by officers at the prison. He then immediately went to the office to take care of it. As it turned out, the reason his men were detained by the prison officers was because sung -hin had given them more money than Ji-ho. Therefore, since then, Ji-ho has not been able to do whatever he used to do. Ji-ho protested to the officers because he could not accept their way of treating him, but in the end, the prison officers beat him up and took him to the isolation room. With Jeho's confinement, sung -hin became the sole leader of the inmates, replacing Jeho's position. Shortly after leaving the isolation room, Jeho crossed paths with hyun -soo, and hyun -soo happened to see one of sung -hin's men behind Jeho while carrying a knife and walking towards Jeho. hyun -soo tried to help Jeho by stopping the man's attack. A few moments later, hyun -soo came to Jeho's cell. Ji-ho gave hyun -soo a cigarette as a reward for saving his life. han -soo then gave him some ideas so that Ji-ho could get special facilities in prison again. They later visited the prison warden's office to show some photos on Ji-ho's cell phone. The photos were of Ji-ho himself having fun with cigarettes and weed. So the point is, they threatened the head warden to give Ji-ho special permission in prison. Otherwise, hyun -soo would publish the photo of Ji-ho with the authorities. Because of this threat, the warden was forced to side with Ji-ho. Jeho held sung -hin in the kitchen, and he then poured hot oil on sung -hin's body, blistering his skin. Jiho then asked about the reason why sung -hin wanted to kill him. sung -hin then explained that he had been ordered by Jeho's boss, Go byung -chul, to kill him. In return, byung -chul had promised to give him 30% of his business profits if he and his crew succeeded in killing Jeho. Jiho couldn't believe sung -hin's words. He then poured more hot oil on sung -hin's head, and he was later killed. Go Bianchul is Jeho's boss. He owns a fish import business from Russia. The fish business is simply a cover for the fact that Bianchul is actually running a drug business. He got the illicit goods from Russia by smuggling them using fish boxes. Bianchul's business is still running and continues to be monitored by the police. Following sung -in's death, Jeho returned to rule the prison, and this time, he started by getting rid of all of sung -in's underlings. One day, Kanso offered to become a member of Jeho's gang. Once he got out of prison, but Jeho did not respond to hyun -soo's request. hyun -soo and Jeho's friendship grew closer, and before he knew it, his two years in prison were finally over. He only had to wait for his last year so he could get out of there. One day, hyun -soo received a message that his mother had died in a car accident. He then asked for permission to get out of prison for just one day to see his mother for the last time, but he was saddened that his request was denied and there was nothing he could do but go against the prison officers because of his deep sadness. Ji-ho tried to calm him down, but his anger was uncontrollable. The next day, hyun was shocked to find that he had gotten a letter of permission to get out of prison.
However, it turned out that it wasn't from the police but was thanks to Jaiho, who bribed the officer. Hansu finally got out of prison and saw his deceased mother for the last time. When he returned to the prison, Jaiho and his henchmen welcomed Hyunsu. Afterward, Jaiho and Hyunsu had a private conversation. Jiho then asked about Hyunsu's wish that he would join Jaiho's gang. Once he was released from prison and out of the blue, Hyunsu said something that made Jaiho both shocked and in disbelief. Bro, I'm a cop, Hyunsu said. Of course, Jaiho didn't believe that Hyunsu was a cop, but Hyunsu then convinced him that he was an undercover cop. Let's flash back to some time before. The police have long suspected Go Byungchul's imported fish business. They knew that the business had been used to cover up drug trafficking. Since the police didn't have enough evidence to arrest Byungchul and didn't want to jeopardize relations between Korea and Russia, they planned to put one of their officers in jail to keep an eye on Jaiho so that they could get information about Byungchul's next business plan. By doing so, the police hoped they would have enough evidence. The undercover mission was then assigned to Jo Hyunsu. Hyunsu would be in prison for three years for the sake of their mission. Hyunsu initially refused the task because his mother, who suffers from kidney disease, lives alone in her house. However, with a promise from his boss, Chun Insuk, who would find a kidney donor for his mother and cover all of her surgery costs, Hyunsu finally accepted it. They then set up a scenario so that Hyunsu could make Jaiho believe in him. However, Hyunsu was somewhat disappointed with his boss, as it turned out that she was the one who didn't give him the approval to see his mother. Hyunsu was touched by Jaiho's kindness for bribing the prison officer so that he could see his mother for the last time. His kindness ultimately made Hyunsu trust him more than his colleagues in the police. All of that made Hyunsu admit who he really was to Jaiho. Following Hyunsu's confession, Jaiho was convinced that he should take Hyunsu to join his gang. Long story short, Jaiho was finally released from prison, and on the day of his release, one of Byungchul's underlings, Go Byunggap, came to see him. Jiho then told him all the stories that happened while he was in prison. Byunggap is the third in command of the Mafia, so the order of this Mafia group is, first is Go Byungchul, second is Han Jaiho, and third is Go Byunggap, who happens to be Byungchul's cousin. After hearing Jaiho's story, especially about Jaiho's intention to recruit Hyunsu into their gang, Byunggap expressed his objection. He said how could they hire a cop for their illegal business. However, Jaiho assured Byunggap that Hyunsu was such a good boy that he wouldn't betray him. Three years had passed, and Hyunsu's day of release had finally arrived. On the day of his release, Jaiho and his entourage welcomed him with a luxury car convoy. Jiho then invited him to dinner with the rest of the gang. Hansu then enjoyed his freedom for prison by doing all the things he loved. In the meantime, Go Byungchul still couldn't believe that Kim sung -in had died of a heart attack. sung -in's death thwarted his plan to kill Jaiho. Byungchul's purpose in wanting to kill Jaiho was because, according to him, Jaiho endangered his position as the big boss of his gang and also his business. Byung Gap then convinced Byungchul that it was true that sung -in died of a heart attack, but before he knew it, he had fallen for Jaiho's lies. One day, Hyunsu was held captive by some people while he was visiting his mother's grave. Hansu was then taken somewhere. Those who captured him then asked him about Jaiho. Hyunsu was beaten and doused with gasoline. Apparently, those who tortured him were his boss, Insuk, and his colleagues from the police. Insuk told him that this was just a test, and he then said that she already knew that Go Byungchul was making plans to deal in a new variant of drugs. At that moment, Hyunsu asked Insuk about the person who had hit his mother, but Insuk said that his mother's case had not been solved yet and was still under investigation. Following that, Hyunsu wondered how his team at the police department could find out where he was and know all of his gang's plans. Hyunsu finally realized that all this time he had been spied on by Insuk, who had installed a bugging device in his watch. Hyunsu then destroyed his watch when he was assigned to finish off one of Byungchul's partners who had committed fraud on him. After successfully destroying the fraudster, Hyunsu managed to become Byungchul's confident as he was very impressed with Hyunsu's abilities. The other night, Jiho and Hyunsu visited a nightclub to meet Mr. Jaegard. He was a representative from Russia who was in charge of the drug business with Byungchul. While Jaiho was discussing business with Gigard, Hyunsu left the club, and outside he met one of his police peers. The fellow then handed Hyunsu a new watch so that the police could track and know the plans of Hyunsu and the other Mafia members. Out of the blue, Jaiho arrived and Hyunsu then landed a punch on his partner so that Jaiho would not be suspicious of him. 
Jiho then proceeded to beat up the cop, but luckily Hyunsu managed to convince Jiho to stop hurting the poor guy. Jiho and Hyunsu then went back into the club, and when they had just entered the elevator, Jiho checked Hyunsu's entire body, but he found nothing. Jiho suspected that Hyunsu was again fitted with a tracking device by his police friends. Hansu then told him that his friend had brought him a new watch earlier, but he didn't take it. Jiho took Hyunsu somewhere, and there they talked about many things, including Jiho being betrayed by Byungchul, even though he had worked for Byungchul for 20 years. It's what made him no longer able to trust other people. Hyunsu then said that he wouldn't push Jiho to trust him, but one thing was for sure, he would always trust Jiho. The next day, Hyunsu gave Insuk information about the location of the drug transaction. Reportedly, the transaction would take place on a ship, and it was a big transaction with a total of 50 kilograms of drugs. Based on Hyunsu's information, the police immediately conducted an ambush, but instead of drugs, they found a bunch of sex toys. The police mission to catch the drug kingpin finally failed again because they did not find any solid evidence. Meanwhile, in the middle of the sea, Hyunsu was on board a small boat. It was on this boat that the real transaction took place. The previous transaction was just a trick to fool the police so that the real drug deal could go through. The bags of drugs then surfaced in the sea thanks to the saline solution they used. This plan of using saline to hide the drugs in the sea was designed by Hyunsu himself. Hansu decided to betray his police colleagues because of his disappointment in his friends who did not take good care of his mother. And up until now, the police have also not been able to solve the case of his mother's death. After checking all the bags of drugs they received, Byungchul then made a toast to celebrate his success. Little did he know that Jaeho was plotting to kill him. Jaeho ended up killing Byungchul. Blang Gap then declared his support for Jaeho, and from then on he became Jaeho's henchman. Jiho also killed all of Byungchul's followers, and he is now the leader of the entire gang, replacing Byungchul. The next day, Hyunsu asked Jaeho to shoot him before he returned to the police station to make his mission report. After his gunshot wound was treated, Hyunsu went to Insuk. Insuk already knew that Hyunsu had betrayed the police. Insuk then showed the CCTV video footage of the day Hyunsu's mother died. Hansu was shocked and devastated when he found out that the person who had hit his mother was Jaeho. We flash back to Jaho and Hyunsu's time in prison. While in prison, Byung Gap often met Jaeho to investigate Sung Hin's death. To cover up the fact that he was the one who had killed Sung Hin, Jaeho made up a story saying that Sung Hin died of a heart attack. As it turned out, Byung Gap was the one who had given Jaeho the information about Hyunsu. He was the first to know that Hyunsu was a police officer on an undercover mission. However, Jaeho did not believe what Byung Gap told him especially since Hyunsu was the one who had saved his life. From then on, Jaeho devised a plan to get Hyunsu on his side, and he promised to kill Hyunsu if his plan failed. Jaeho started his plan by planning a hit-and-run accident that ended up killing Hyunsu's mother. With his mother dead, Hyunsu would surely contact his boss, Insuk, to ask for permission to leave prison. When Hyunsu didn't get permission from Insuk, that's when Jaeho would bribe the police to give Hyunsu permission. This was how he could gain trust and eventually make Hyunsu his loyal follower. From the CCTV footage, it finally opened Hyunsu's eyes. All this time, he had trusted the wrong person. The story then returns to the next timeline. On that day, the gang members gathered to celebrate Jaeho as the new gang leader. A little while later, he got a call from Hyunsu saying that the police were going to investigate their gang. Hansu said that he had been framed and that someone might have discovered his identity as a police officer. To save his life, Jaeho had to hand over all the drugs he had to the police. Jiho suspected that the person who framed Hyunsu was Byung Gap because he was the only person who knew Hyunsu's true identity. Jiho's suspicions grew stronger too, as he knew that Byung Gap didn't like Hyunsu. Jiho didn't realize that Hyunsu and the police were playing tricks on him. Insuk was sure that, as Jaeho's confident, he would do anything to save Hyunsu. Later that night, Jiho called Byung Gap to meet him. While waiting for Jaeho's arrival, Byung Gap sat at Jaeho's table and acted as if he were the ruler of all the mafia groups. A few moments later, Jaeho arrived, and without first listening to Byung Gap's explanation, he mercilessly beat Byung Gap to death. After that, Jaeho prepared all the drugs he had and he then went to a place determined by the police to exchange Hyunsu and the drugs. When he arrived at the location, Jaeho found many oddities, and he finally realized that he had been framed. Hansu then said that all this time, Jaeho had been running his business the wrong way, 
Jiho had killed everyone he disliked, from his competitor, Byung-chul, to Byung-gap, who was loyal to him, to Hyunsu's mother. Jiho then pointed his gun at Hyunsu, as he no longer trusted him. However, Jiho could not kill him because he was so fond of Hyunsu, who had also saved his life. A few moments later, the police began to fill the place, and a shootout ensued. Hansu, who intended to help the police, became the target of one of his police colleagues. When Jiho saw Hyunsu being betrayed by his partner, Jiho came to save him. After being saved by Jiho, Hyunsu then asked Joho to kill him, otherwise, it would be him who would kill Jiho. However, Jiho still let Hyunsu live by only shooting his ear. Jiho then walked away while crying over his memories with Hyunsu. All of a sudden, he was hit by Insuk. Insuk then took Jiho's car keys from his shirt pocket, and she checked the drugs that Jiho kept in his car. After making sure the drugs were intact in Jiho's car, Insuk got ready to leave. But unexpectedly, Hyunsu came and shot her. Hyunsu then walked over to Jiho and put the gun he had used to shoot Insuk in Jiho's hand. Hansu then killed him by tightly covering Jiho's nose, and he was the only person who survived the chaos. At the end of the story, Hyunsu stared at the sky with an empty look.